The Reef of Madness. Do they mean marijuana or pot? You know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddy. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over uh, Mike Lyons on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you I don't like this out. guy. This guy seems like a bitch. I, I like the other guy. Uh, the other chief officer guy. You did it, Phelps, you son of a bitch. Oh, exit's the other way. My bad. I'm kind of lost in this new area. 50 bucks? Do they think I'm made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be God, tedious. where's the exit? Do you ever no. listen to yourself? Okay, I don't have Think the same goodness. voices in my head as you do, Cole. Okay, where are we going? As soon as this guy gets here. There's a little sneak. Oh. That's him in the back, Cole. I got a call back for that universal... Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Well, be careful. He likes guns. Now, do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this cruise character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. You just open up every golden door. All right, here to drive, buddy. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? We ju we've just talked about it. I swear this, every guy I've worked for is just dumb. You believe his story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. <clears throat> yeah, remember that? We did that little balancing beam crap. That sucked almost. Oh, shit. Call for help. I'll try and find a way in. That's not good. Enforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Ah! Ah! 
Oh god. I kept hitting the, the stick to the wall button and it did not stick me to the wall. Let's try that again. Right? R2. Or, oh no, crap, it's R1. No wonder. That was my bad, actually. Call for help. I'll try and find a way in. Shot and killed twice. Okay. I thought I could just run, but evidently he doesn't run fast. Call for help. I'll try and find a way in. Get off the bed. Yeah, officers oh, need God. help at 1452 North Las Palmas. Shots fired and officers need help at 1452 North Las Palmas. Roger, let me hear you. Audience, officers need help at 1452 North Las Palmas. Officers need help at 1452 North Las Palmas. Shots fired. Hey. Hey. Be so nice. Oh, I thought that was for me. I was like, wait, what? You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You opened fire, and well, the rest of the story tells itself. We sh shot him in the face. We don't need to. Dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Oops. No, 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 no. We're checking. We, we shot him. He's not going to have his stuff ripped off. Okay, what's in his wallet? Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Uh, tomato jungle. Uh, is it junkies? Doesn't soup? anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Another day, another problem. Oh, I already know that. My controller is going crazy right now. Oh. I shot that guy. What's in here? Uh, newspaper. These are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. Mm. 
that gold? Oh shit. Jeez. Uh keep. What's that one? Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Ha ha ha. Phelps! You jump like a girl. <laughs> Now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Where are we getting? More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? With Juan dead, we need a new cell. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates oh. and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Oops. You hungry or something, Phelps? Oh, shit. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. That's still giving me the option to do the other one. Damn, just more and more pot. Music. Okay, now where do we go? I had a phone in here, I thought. Oh, I thought I already used it, huh? Okay. Let's go to the soup place. Seems the most. You drive. I need to go over the place. case notes. Fine, where are we headed? I literally just said we're going to the, the suit place. I'm so happy that this game gave me the option not to drive. Unless I truly have to. Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. Yeah, we have no idea how much he shifted. Take our sweet ass time walking up. Right. Gold doors. Let's see if we open. can find out who's been overseasoning the soup in this place. Hi. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. Parnell. Howard Parnell. Can you I'll take us to here? Please Absolutely. Take a seat. If you don't yeah. mind, we'll come with you. If you must. Yes, we must, because anytime this happens, the dude normally runs off. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? Oh, you yeah. sly dog. Stop I must it. apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. <laughs> Give it a rest, Roy. <laughs> Reese for madness. to see Mr. Parnell, Doris? Yeah, my controller died. LAPD. I'll just... Follow me, about, gentlemen. Can I just go in? Oh, I gotta wait. Okay, go ahead. All right. What is going on? Who LAPD. said that? Sit this tight, mouth didn't move. Off. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 yeah. bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. Yeah, can you explain That's that? That's an outrageous allegation. You How son of you a bitch, I've seen them. We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Hmm. Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. 
<clears throat> oh, showing her cleavage. Get out of here, lady. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Um. Probably for a cruise, right? Did I not see them again? Can I switch one over? Oh. I can't point to his name. There it is. This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. OK, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in the aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I I'm not familiar with them all. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering, like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. <clears throat> this guy's an asshole. Okay, inside. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. Hmm. I think he's telling the truth. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show uh, you around myself. Absolutely. Go ahead. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. Hmm. Damn, only for a week. Oh. All right. Come on. Take me to the warehouse. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. God, they go. Fascinating. Is this big dude going to try to run for it or something now? Why don't you keep quiet? Might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh oh, where? Alright, yeah, he's gonna yell at me again. Come on. This is the hopper. Okay. Which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. I will. Literally been following you this whole time. This is one of our dispatchers. Who is Sergio, it? right? Yes, sir. <laughs> These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They okay. all go in the book. Just there on the desk. The one I'm probably looking at. Let's see. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. Twentieth Century Market, fifteen fifteen. Uh, fifteen fifteen. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? Yeah. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure. Why not? Because it has M A something on it. Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. Brings me luck. Hmm. Be hungry for pasta. All right. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Okay, Loading that's a damn unloading. lie. Don't care I already don't trust you. I don't trust you. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm going to go to immigration services and have you deported. <laughs> damn. I get a shipment <laughs> once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. From here, it gets sent all over the country. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No. Not me. That's weird. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm gonna break you for it. You're loco, Blanca. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? Juan and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. Ooh, the guy is evil an gabacho. He gives out the silver dollars. Jorge hmm. gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on me. You keep your mouth shut for today, and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? No. Is that there a serious go. question? That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. Why is he always you yelling at people? I guess. <laughs> we will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. <laughs> it's it's always, imperative that things yelling. appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're going to let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some common union types infiltrate this place. Hmm. Yeah, those common union types. All right, gold door means opens. I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. Oh, they do, though. My buddy used to work that one. Okay, we need to go to. The You're behind 20th the wheel. Century. Do we know where we're going? I, I just said we're going to the 20th century. How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? Two. More.
Ah, man. Ah, good old ice water now. Already got that coffee in. Got to do some more uh, Mass Effect after this. Working on that game still. Seems like there's so many more missions in one and two in that Sit game. Tight. All right, what are we looking Let's at? Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotics. Code 2 only, no sirens. Mass. 11 K, Roger. Okay. Here we go. Cavalry are we walking? Be here any minute. Are we just. Damn, they just come out of nowhere. LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Son of a bitch. So the vice just means these stupid idiots are being... Oh, God, where are you at? Uh, yeah, you're not, you're not going to make it, bro! <clears throat> I played NES track and field. Can't beat me tapping the X button. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. Mm, weed. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. What? You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. No. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my oh, compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. And of course, he has a coin. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Mm. Sanchez Erto, Mexican. Tijuana address. How much money you got? Can't take it? Damn. <laughs> All right, give it back your wallet. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. That's... Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. Mm. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? Um, I mean, what? Should I just do wands? You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver <laughs> dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. His if creatures. I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. <laughs> Come on, dude, are you now? You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. One we know Tell about, me about Jorge him. and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. <laughs> and I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. Right? You're under arrest, Erto. 
I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. Damn. Just getting rid of this guy. Poor young dude, just chilling. Trying to live his life, support his family. Now he's arrested. It's like, it's like if you played a game Mass Effect and you were shenanigans with R.C. Robin and, and little Timmy died right off the bat in part three. <laughs> oh. Am I following somebody? I hate Freddy driving. They were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. <laughs> no, not Timmy. Timmy was murdered. Let him unload the goods first. Oh, God. All right, what is he unloading here? Now, let's get him. So I don't do any of this cool stuff. I just... Oh, God. Stop, we're here. Okay, go to the back of the trunk and press X. All right, move. Move! Let's go! All right. Watch out, guys. Everyone into position. Got your back. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Shit. Throw out the guns. Oh, that cop is dead. Shit. How long do you think you can hold out? He's there, right there! Kill him! Damn it, Mitch. Camera angle. Go down, you gotta go. Still gotta hide. Find some cover. All clear. I think that's the last of them, Cole. All right. Bastards. Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. Okay. Ooh, this is like a... No, I don't... He, he was shot and killed. Let's see. So you want an address, we should see what the Federales have on it. Commander Pippa doesn't care about children like Timmy. <laughs> Seeing grass. I don't know what the hell that means. All right, let's shut this little wallet here. Another silver dollar. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Okay. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Where? Take a look in these boxes. 
Um, this is right here. Oh. At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Damn. Drugs. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? Yes, certainly does. <sighs> Is he alive or did we shoot him in the face? I did take my shotgun upstairs at one point, so. Ah, crap. That oh, looks like it's him. Damn. I wouldn't mind finding one of those. Anything in his... Yep. Yet another silver dollar. Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. It's... There. It's... Uh, Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. Oh, there are letters cut into something. each coin, along with not legal tender. Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Um, look at them together. Can you work out what it says? No, no. Uh, what? Did, how do you spell that name? No, not that one. Um. Oh. The first coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mesanke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Yes. Would I ever. 1034 yes. Vine Street, Hollywood. Let's we'll finish go. up here. I... It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. To shooting them? Got it. No promises. You know the way. You can drive. Let's go right, find this metal it? place out. We'll find that metal place and then... Uh, I don't know if there's any more... Anything left after that. I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. Get your priorities straight, Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? Uh, yeah, of course I'm worried about it. The change was worth a lot back in these days. Remember, it was like five cents to go see a movie. Some of those are all dollars, so that's, that's four dollars or five dollars I've gotten so far. Locked. We need another way in. Um. Uh. Yep, that'll work. Full house. Cover the back door, Roy. Oh. God damn it! You win one more hand, Andy. I'm taking my money and going home. And fuck whose turn it is to mine shop. Hey, what can I say? I got lucky. Hey! Throw out the guns! Ooh. Somebody else over here. Stay down. Come on, pop your head out. Pop your head out. Damn it, this gun moved differently, sorry. Okay.
You okay? I'll Damn, tell I you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Huh. Stay in cover. Oh god. Got him. Alright. Damn. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? This we have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Working vice can be a thankless task, Belts. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about <laughs> Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. And there we go, guys. Two cases tonight. Hit that notification bell. 13 for 13, 9 for 9. Hit that notification bell because uh, I will probably be doing some more cases late, late this week. Well, late at night. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Shanae again is RC Robbins. Go give him a check out. Um, if you're watching this in a later time, thank you so much for watching some cases of LA Noir.